All right, guys. Today's the day. We're going to bring Hannibal out here into our open air pen and let her have some face to face kitty time for the first time and see how that goes. But first, guys, you know what we got to do. Hey guys, welcome back to Life with 18 Cats Plus 2. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing that. I think we all get it by now. But if you're new here, I'm Kim. Welcome. Nice to have you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, so today is going to be the first time we bring Hannibal out here. And um, as you guys might have seen in the last video, or if you didn't, let me just catch you up. I went and got this thanks to donations from you guys, which again, I can't say enough how much I appreciate all you guys' support and love and just your dedication to my family, my house, my kitties, me, the channel. You guys are so wonderful and I just appreciate it so much. Um, but thanks to you guys, I went and got this open air kennel or enclosure or pen. It's, it's, a, it's actually called an exercise pen and it's meant for dogs, but the box says, you know, for dogs and other animals. Obviously, I know people use these to bring their bunnies outside or whatever. So I got this. It's now in my living room. As you can see, I've got it set up in the square. Um, you can also make it into an octagon kind of shape, or you can make it into just a rectangle run kind of like shape. But I've got it in a square shape right now. And I am gonna get Hannibal, and I'm gonna bring her out. I'm gonna put her in here. Why am I doing this? I will tell you why. I'm doing it this way because with her limited mobility, I don't want her to just be free roaming on the floor because I don't want her getting underneath the couch or, okay, Chewy just got the, the wand. Okay, Chewy, you stuff, honey. Here, you want this? You want the wand? Here. Come on, Chewy. Over here. Chewy, over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. There you go. Okay. Um, Chewy likes when I take the wand down. He just likes to grab it and just drag it around the house. I don't. Listen, I don't know, guys. But, um, but yeah, so I don't want her just free roaming on the floor. First of all, because I don't want her getting under the couch or getting somewhere where she might get stuck or she might I might lose track of her or a kitty might corner her somewhere where I can't help her. Um, obviously, I'm going to be sitting here the whole time, but still, I just don't want to take those chances at all. Um, I also want to make sure that she's got an enclosed area that has got some space like the that pink rug, the big pink rug you see there. That's actually um, a horse saddle blanket. A saddle blanket? Yeah, a saddle blanket. Why? Because it's really thick, it's really heavy, and it won't slip as easily. I'm also going to put some grippies on the back of it later on, but for right now, for the, this purpose, that's a really nice sized blanket, and like I said, it's really thick and heavy. And then of course we have a cute little little furry blanket. I don't know why I have the, listen, I don't know why I have the furry blanket. I just saw it at the store and I was like, oh my god, it's so cute and fluffy and it's really soft and I like it and I'm going to get it for Hannibal. I don't know. I just want to spoil all the kitties. That's all. Um, so I put this up earlier, and I'm letting the, the rest of the cats, I'm letting, letting everybody else kind of get used to the pen area, because I don't want to overstimulate anybody and cause any issues. So introducing the pen and Hannibal all at once is going to create like this whole overstimulated overstimula thing with these guys, because they're going to be like, oh my gosh, there's a pen, there's a new item in the house, oh my gosh, there's also a new kitty, and I don't want that to happen for them. So I wanted to introduce the pen. Obviously, there's Perfect in there, hanging out. They've now gotten used to the pen being in the house, so it's no longer a new item, and they don't necessarily care about it anymore. I just want them. I want them to to meet Hannibal, not the pen. So now that they've met the pen, the pen's cool. They're cool with the pen. As you can see, the pen also has a little door here, little doorway. So yeah. So this is gonna work really good, I think. Yeah. So that's what we're doing today. We are going to, I'm also, oh, by the way, I'm also going to bring her bed out here, and I'm going to put her bed over here, actually, where am I going to put her bed? I'm going to put her bed probably right here, by the door, and her food bowl is right by the door, and then I'm going to put her litter box out here too, in case she needs to use a litter box. But yeah, so I'm going to put everything out here so that she has all the little creature comforts that she's used to, and then these guys can start getting used to her. Um, I am obviously going to sit inside of the pen with her while we do the first introductions, just so that I'm literally sitting right there with her. I'll probably put her in my lap for a little while, let her let people, let the kitties come in and do sniff sniffs and whatever. 
and manage any kind of like unease they might have. I'm actually, listen, I'm really shocked at how quickly these guys are being so accepting of the fact that there's another kitty in the house, because nobody is getting, like, upset. Nobody is doing a bunch of hissing. Everybody's being really cool, really calm. So I think this is going to go really well, um, just for, for, for the idea of what's going to go forward. Um, at no point is... Is Hannibal going to be allowed to just free roam the house? Not anytime soon. Not for the foreseeable future. That's another reason why I wanted to get this. Because once everybody is accustomed to each other and integrated and everything, I will still be utilizing this because I still do not want her just free roaming the house due to her mobility issues. So I think this pen is going to be big enough for her to be able to be in this. So she'll either be in this or she'll be in her kennel, but she will ha be able to be in an open aired area with all the rest of the kitties. Just I don't want her free roaming the house because of her limited mobility. So I think I've battled on long enough. I'm gonna go get Hannibal and um, yeah, I'll be right back guys. Hold on one second. Okay guys, here's Hannibal. I just grabbed her whole bed right now and we're gonna go in here and we're gonna sit down and we're gonna see what this how this goes. Yeah. All right, come on Hannibal. Come on little pumpkin. Look at her. Oh, look at her being so good. Look at her doing so good. Hello, Annabelle. Hello, little Annabelle. Hi, perfect kitten. Let me take my shoes off so I'm not sitting here with my shoes on. I feel like I'm like in somebody else's house. And I feel like I, feel like I should take my shoes off. So I'm going to take my shoes off. Hi, Annabelle. What are we doing, honey? What are we doing, huh? What are we doing, sweetheart? What are we doing, little kitten? How are you doing? Perfect. Are you going to be nice, girl? What is that, perfect kitten? Is that a Hannibal? Can you be nice? Oh, what is that? Be nice girl. Nice girl, perfect kitten. Yes, nice girl. Yes, be nice. It's okay, perfect. You're okay. Yeah, you're okay, perfect girl. So as you can see, perfect is in here. Perfect is checking her out. She's sniff sniffing. Oh, nice girl. Oh, nice girl, perfect kitten. Perfect is being very nice. Oh, that's a nice girl, perfect kitten. Oh, perfect. Such a nice girl. Oh, she's licking her. She's giving her grooms. Oh my gosh, she's grooming Hannibal. And Hannibal's like, yes, please do that. Oh, perfect. Are you such a good mommy girl? That's a good girl, perfect kitten. Perfect kitten, it's okay. You're doing so good. That's a good girl, perfect kitten. Good job, perfect. Perfect, you did so good. That's a good girl, perfect kitten. Perfect. Look at it. See you guys. Um, so that was perfect. Perfect just came in here as you saw. She came over, she was doing sniff sniffs. She actually gave her a couple licks on the head to let her know that it's okay. Hi, Annabelle. Hi, sweetums. Hi, little sweetie pie. Hi, little sweetie pie. Hi, little girl. Look at you being so cute. Look at you being such a good girl. So I'm going to come grab the phone real quick because I want to show you guys something. So hold on one second. So I wanted to show you guys Hannibal's back end. You can clearly see that her tail is off center because it is, as you can see, she's got a regular, regular shaped hip over here and this one is flat. That is because this hip, this hip is the one that is displaced. And so her tail, the base of her tail is actually over here instead of in the middle. But she's doing really good. I wanna see if she'll walk a little bit so you guys can see her walk. But yeah, if you can tell, you can see how she she's very crooked in the backside, and she's off center. But that is, like I said, because of the displaced hip. Um, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna talk more about that on Sunday when we do our Let's Chat Live. But just so you guys can see, see she can walk. She's just very cautious with that one foot because she does. It's the hip is not in place. So basically, her leg is moving, but it's not moving like normal. She still has the tendons, she still has the muscles, she still has all the, all the, like, the like, ligaments and everything. All those things are still intact. It's just that her hip is not in the socket. And that's just something that, you know, I mean, she can live with this. It's not causing her pain. As far as we know, as far as the vet has, has looked at, it's not, it's not sitting in a situation where it's causing her pain. She's doing just fine with it. And as she gets older and stronger, she will be able to manage that a lot better. And if it does become a problem, then we will deal with it then, and we will be able to get her help. 
But now you guys can kind of get a better idea of her coloring too. She is definitely diluted calico just like Perfect is. If you look at her coloring with the tans and the, cre the creamy tan and the creamy gray and everything. And then if you look at Perfect, Perfect has those same colors, just Perfect is a long hair and not a short hair, but she has those creamy, creamy browns and creamy grays just like Annabelle. Yeah. I'm gonna get her food, hold on guys. Okay, so I went and grabbed her litter box and her food bowls, which you can't see very well because it's too far up. Now you can see. So I grabbed her, litter, her little bowls, grabbed her litter box, which as you can see, she uses her litter box just fine. And those pans are working out great for her, for her like ability to get in and out of them. They are low enough sided so that she doesn't have a problem getting in and out. It does mean she kicks the litter out a little bit more, but that's okay, I'll live with that. Hi, Choo Choo. Annabelle, Mama's over here. Hey, how's it going, baby? Come on, Pumpkin. Come on, Annabelle. Come, come over here. You can come over here, honey. Come on, Pumpkin. Come on, Pumpkin. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hi, Pumpkin. Yeah, so here's Annabelle, guys. Annabelle's doing really, really good. And everybody's being really nice. Everybody's being very calm. So this is one of the things that I like to do is just I keep things calm. I stay calm, talk calm, react calm. I move in a very nice calm manner because it keeps everybody calm. But so now you guys have seen how amazing, listen, cats are so amazing, you guys. You would think, one would think that with 19 cats in a house, first of all, how in the hell do you get 19 cats in a house and have everybody get along? With the exception of the bully situation, which is not a situation where it was a lack of integration, it was just conflict of personalities, but we managed that. Outside of that one situation, how do you do, I don't know, but you guys can clearly see right now, Marbles, what are you doing? Marbles, that's not for you. You can come in here, sir, Mr. Sir, you can come in here, Mr. Sir, Marbles, come over here, come here, come on Marbles, you're okay. But, um, so just so you guys know, one of the first things you want to do is you want the cats to get to the point where they just don't care about the, the new kitty. Marbles, honey, please stop. Please stop doing that because you're going to spill the water, baby. No, we're not going to do that. We're not spilling water. No, let's not spill the water. Um, but you need to get the cats accustomed to each other and no matter how long that takes. And listen, I have said, I've said this before in the last video and I'm going to say it again. I have gotten insanely lucky with my cats and their ability to integrate because I've never had a problem with integrating cats. Um, the longest process I ever had was with Farah, but that was because Farah was 11 years old. She had been an only cat her whole life and she just didn't want to integrate. So she had her own space, her own little area, and she stayed to that little area. Hi, Annabelle. Hi, sweet pie. Look at you being so good. You're doing such a good job. Um, but yeah, I've never had a problem with a kitty integrating. They've always integrated very well, and they've always adapted very well, and I've, I've never had an issue with it. And it looks like this is going to be no exception to that rule. Hi, baby girl. Where are you going? Where are you going, honey bunny? Huh? Where are you going? What are you doing, sweet girl? Where are you going? Are you going to be in the corner? Are you going to be a little corner kitty? Huh? You going to be a little corner kitty? She's just, she's just laying down over here. But yeah, so this is going to go well. I'm confident in that. This is going to go just fine. She's going to be just fine. But like I said, um, is Hannibal going to be able to just run around the house like everybody else? No. Is Hannibal ever going to do the highway? No. That's never going to be a thing for Hannibal. But you know what? Hannibal is going to have a nice, happy life. Whether, even if it's in the house and this is her enclosure, she's fine with that. She's okay with that. She's happy. You know why? Because she's not outside. She's not in danger. She's getting food, she's getting care, she's getting love, and that's what matters. And that's why I did what I did. And that's why I'm going to continue to do what I do. So yeah. I think this process is going to be a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, <clears throat> I am not going to be leaving. I mean right now, because everybody's being so good, I'm obviously going to let Hannibal be in the open air kennel for a while. 
I'm going to let her get accustomed to being out here in the open with the other kitties, let the other kitties get used to her. But I am going to be sitting right here on the couch watching the entire time, because my couch is literally like three feet away from this pen. Um, <clears throat> now that we've got her in here, I think she's going to do just fine, guys. But I'm never going to leave her in this open air kennel while I leave the room or leave the house or anything else. When I leave the room or leave the house, she's either going to be going with me or she will be in her enclosed pen so that nobody nobody can get, you know, nobody can get hurt. And um, yeah, there's Choo Choo. Choo Choo be nice. Hi Choo Choo. Choo Choo, are you being so nice, honey? Choo Choo, what is that? Is that a little kitty, huh? Is that a kitten? That's a kitten like you were. Yeah, you was that little at one time. Actually, Chewy, this is what how big Chewy was when I got Chewy. Yeah, so anyways, I know these are a little bit longer videos, but I want you guys to see in real time how this process goes and how long it can take. It's not always going to be a quick process, guys. It's really not. I mean, obviously, this is going to go a little bit faster than I thought it was going to be because everybody's being so good. And again, that's a, that's because that's because I brought in Hannibal. I had her in her kennel. I had her in the front room where nobody could get at her for a few hours. So everybody's already starting to get the scent of her. Um, I did actually take the kitty brushes. I brushed some of the kitties. I brushed Hannibal. So Hannibal has got very much their scent on her. So that's probably helping. Thank you, Jerry, by the way, for that suggestion. Um, and then bring her out in the kennel last night, like you guys saw. And then I sat on the couch with her in my lap for a little while because again, I need to keep her getting human, human contact too. I don't want her just to be in the kennel and not get any human contact. So I've been snuggling with her a lot too since she's been home. So her smell is on me and they trust me, so now that smell is associated for them with trust because it's on me. Um, tiny whiny, what is that tiny whiny? But yeah, so I'm giving you guys some real time events, real time, you know, how this works. As you can see, tiny whiny is sticking his nose through the fence right now and he's sniffing her. Are you sniff sniffing tiny whiny? What is that? What is that tiny whiny? Is this a kitten? Is this a little kitten? It is a little kitten, huh? Is that a Hannibal? Oh, baby boy, that's so nice. That's a nice boy, tiny one. That's a nice boy, yes, it is. He's being so gentle and so nice. That's why I say he is my gentle giant. I mean, he could hop in here and he could go after her, but instead he's on the outside of the fence and he's just sniffing right through the fence and being all gentle. That's my gentle boy, huh? That's my gentle little boy. That's my little tiny one. Good job, tiny one. You're being so nice. And Hannibal doesn't mind. As you can see, she's just laying there. She knows, she can more than feel that he is pushing his nose onto her tail and he's sniffing her. And she's like, that's fine. She doesn't mind. So yeah, so like I said, I know these videos are going to be a little bit longer, but like I said, I want to make sure you guys can see real time how this works, how long it takes, what the process is. Because I mean, I could edit, we could edit these videos, we could speed up things, but that's not going to give you guys a good sense of how much time is put into this. So. I figure if I'm sitting here doing this and you guys are interested, let's just do it. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. I don't know what the hell that was, but no. Hey Marbles, you're okay, honey. Marbles, it's okay. Nobody is even near you, honey. Nobody is near you, Marbles. Nobody's coming near you. No, you stop, you stop, sonny boy. <laughs> Marbles, you can't see Marbles, but he's like right here on the outside of the kennel. And he's doing this, well, he's rolling around being really cute right now. So anyways, guys, yeah. Okay, I'm coming over here to say bye. So I'm gonna show you Marbles. Marbles is right there. That's what he's doing. <laughs> he's being cute. Okay, so now you guys seen Hannibal in her little open-air kennel. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thank you guys for all your support and your love. And I couldn't do any of this without you guys. I wouldn't want to do any of this without you guys. So you guys have made this journey so fun and I love it. And I am so grateful to all of you guys. So um, for those of you that have, you know, that, that want to help, again, go to the description of the, of the video. You're going to see all the links in order to help if you want to help financially. Otherwise, I'm going to say this in this video because with her and with everything we got going on and how much we want, you know, the goals we have for this channel, I'm going to say this. Please, 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 guys, just remember, if you want to support the channel, if you want to support us, the, one of the best ways you guys can do that is to hit the like, to share the video, to just watch the video all the way through, and um, subscribe to the channel, guys. If you're not subscribed already, I mean, come on, what are you doing? Look at this. Look what we're doing here. <laughs> we're saving lives, guys. <laughs> 
one kitty at a time. <laughs> you know what? If I ever get that sanctuary, I think I'm going to call it one kitty at a time. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!